Okay guys, took the front of this carburetor. Found it was a little bit warped. So we're going to attempt to see if we can't flatten this out just a touch. That's what you did. And it's got grooves around this uh, opening right here. So we're going to attempt to see if we can't put a little bit of silicone around this. What? I'm making a recording. And see if we can't get this leak to stop. And see what happens. Okay guys, we'll see what happens here. Put a little silicone on it. Hopefully seal this thing up. See what happens. Put it on right there. I'll clean that up a little bit. So get this thing hopefully sealed up. So as you can see, I got it on here. You get a little light on the subject here. There, you can see it. So I put some uh, RTV on it. So I'm gonna leave it set overnight. And hopefully it dries up enough, or seals it good enough, to where maybe I can possibly use this carburetor on this. Convertible! That's what this carburetor is from, the convertible. Like I said in previous videos, this thing was leaking, and I found out the reason why. This, uh, this thing was warped, so we put it on a sand, we sanded it on a flat surface, see if we can't get this flattened out just a touch, and yeah. See what happens here, guys. So I'm hopefully this works. We'll find out. So thanks for watching this part, and maybe I'll wait until we get it on the car and try it on the car. So I'll catch you when I do that. Catch you guys later. Okay, guys. I've uh, let this thing sit overnight. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put fuel in it and see what happens. This is how I put fuel in it. All you do is the open holes right here go into the bowl. So all you really got to do is get you some gas and put in it. Hold on. Get a thing of gas, which I use this Gatorade um, thing, jug. Just pour some gas into it. Oops! Yeah, that'll work. Must have been gas in it still. So yeah, I think it's might be full. But anyways, put gas in it. Then how I got the leak before is to press the throttle here, and it actually leaked down in here. When you press the throttle, it would leak. I don't think I can hold this and the camera and everything at the same time. Get a light. There we go. Light, light. And it would leak right down here. And it is not leaking right now. When I press it, it's coming out the curb like it should on the bottom. But it's not leaking down in here any. I don't see no wetness. Because every time you press the throttle, it would actually leak. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this thing on the car. And uh, just let her sit and see what happens. Well, yep, we'll see what happens here and get it on the car. And maybe it'll not leak anymore. That'd be nice if it doesn't. That'd be sweet. So I'll get back with you later. Alrighty, I've got the crabberator back on this thing. So let's see what happens here. See if we can fire this thing up. See what happens. See if we get any more leaks. Now she fires right up because it's got gas in it. Before it was leaking it all out, and then it wouldn't start right away. Well, let's get that again, I guess. Rewind.
No leaking gas. No leaking gas. That's a plus. Can't leave this thing around too long. Because I don't have a belt for it yet. Right, so I get this, uh, I got a belt on order for this thing. Got a belt coming. So, I just wanted to see if I can get this uh, thing to stop leaking gas, and guess what? It looks like it has stopped. So the little trick of uh, sanding that thing down just a little bit, putting a little RTV on it, has uh, maybe keep it going, maybe, hopefully. Looks pretty good. Like before, as soon as I'd fire it up and it'd run, it'd squirt gas out of it, so... Hey, hey, hey! Guess what, guys? Might have it fixed. So, if you uh, like this little uh, rendition of uh, fixing this uh, little gas leak on this uh, carburetor here, give me that thumbs up. Give me some likes, comments, share, subscribe. Ring that bell, like everybody else says. This is Chef Shade Tree. Catch you guys in the next one. When I get the uh, belt for this thing, we'll get some water in this bad boy and we'll get this thing on the road. So stay tuned for another video on that. Catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.